Today, we are going to learn about special right triangles. Warning, the following topic is very important because the content of this topic will appear multiple times in your geometry lessons. So please, pay very close attention. Let's begin this lesson by defining what a right triangle is. A right triangle is a triangle with one right angle and the two other angles being either 30 and 60 or 45 and 45. The triangles have formulas in order to find the lengths of the sides. These formulas are exclusive to these triangles, meaning they can only be used when the angles of the triangles are 30, 60, and 90 or 45, 45, and 90. The formula for the 30, 60 triangle is as shown. The short leg is the original value or the value that the other side is multiplied by, while the longer leg multiplies the x value by the square root 3, and the hypotenuse multiplies the x value by 2. Let's try a problem. In this problem, 3 is the x value, and y represents the hypotenuse, which is 2 times x. To find y, we simply have to multiply 3 by 2. The answer is 6. Now, Let's move on to 45-45 triangles. The formula is simpler than that of a 30-60 triangle. Both legs on a 45-45 triangle are the same length. Therefore, they have the same x value. To find the hypotenuse, you multiply the x value by square root 2. Let's do another equation using this rule. In this triangle, the x value is 16. So, to find y, we simply multiply by square root 2. To get an exact measurement, just leave the answer as 16 root 2 instead of finding the square root of 2 and multiplying it by 16. Those problems were easy enough. Now, let's try a challenge. In this problem, we are looking for the original x value and are given the value of the longer leg, which is 27. In order to find x, we have to solve for x with the value that is given and its corresponding formula form. So now, we have the equation 27 equals x root 3. All we have to do is divide root 3 from both sides and x becomes 27 over root 3. So that should be our answer, right? Wrong. There is more. Since the rules of math say you can't have a square root as a denominator, we have to get rid of it. In order to do that, we have to simply multiply both parts of the fraction by root 3. Once you do that, you get 27 root 3 over root 9, which simplifies to 27 root 3 over 3, because the square root of 9 is 3. After we do that, we are able to simplify even more by dividing 27 by 3. Then, your final exact answer becomes 9 root 3. Let's do another. In this problem, we are given the hypotenuse and have to find the original x value. Well, the hypotenuse formula on a 45-45 triangle is x square root 2, and our value is 22. So, let's solve for x. We divide both sides by root 2. Then, because we can't have a root in the denominator, we multiply both parts of the fraction by root 2 and get 22 root 2 over root 4, which is the same as 22 root 2 over 2, because the square root of 4 is 2. Lastly, we divide the whole numbers and our answer becomes 11 root 2. Before you go, let's do a quick recap. There are only two types of special right triangles, 30-60 triangles or 45-45 triangles. Each one has its own formula in order to solve for the side lengths, and the formulas are exclusively for these triangles. The formulas are simple to follow and will be given when they are needed, but because special right triangles will be used a lot in geometry, it would be easier and more efficient for yourself to remember these simple formulas. Thank you, and happy mathing! Created using Powtoon.